Well, thanks, and uh, good afternoon to everyone. I'm Terry McAllister. I'm Chairman and CEO of WGL and Washington Gas. And we pride ourselves on the amount of volunteer time we do in the community. And so it's our, our employees literally volunteer thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of their time to go out and help people in the community. So it gives me particularly great pleasure to actually give this award today. And they did give me a script, and I, like a few others, don't follow the rules very well. Uh, so I will try to go through that, and I've, I've learned something. I might, too, take a little bird walk from time to time. So. Uh, but I do have one thing to say to Steve, is I'm getting ready to give a Lifetime Achievement Award, <laughs> and I can almost guarantee you Mary's not going to the home anytime soon. <laughs> Uh, for me, it truly is a pleasure to honor Mary today. Over the past several decades, uh, Mary's dedication to her work to transform the lives of the people in this community uh, is truly what I think defines leadership in Northern Virginia and for our region. Uh, Mary is respected. She's sought out by leaders in government, business, I know you all know who you are, other nonprofit sectors for her integrity her understanding, and her communication of what are often very complex issues. She's known for her ability to pull people with sometimes competing interests together for a good solution. And she puts uh, the good of the community and what they're all trying to do ahead of either her organization or her, or her own personal benefit. For me personally, Mary demonstrates the epitome of what it means to be a community leader. Since 1998, Mary has served as the, chair, or the CEO and president of Northern Virginia Family Services. Mary's a personal friend of mine, so I am not going to say how long she's actually worked there, because it's <laughs> been longer than that. Uh, so I will let her tell you that if she wants. I'd like her to stay my friend. <laughs> but, but under her leadership, Northern Virginia Family Services has grown into one of the largest and most well-regarded uh, family services organization in all of the state and certainly in Northern Virginia. This organization now helps 36,000 individuals across the region each year to get the services uh, from this organization that help them in their lives. Uh, personally, I would say that I've had the great pleasure of actually working for Mary. Uh, don't get me wrong, she's never paid me a nickel to work for her. Uh, but I, I had a, the opportunity to serve on her board for a long time and actually chair her board for a while. And I know there are some other board members in the room I've seen you around, and you know what I'm talking about when you say we worked for Mary and not the other way around. Mary had this uh, passion, this vision, this drive to continue to always expand the services in the community and help more and more families. And our job was really just to try and keep up and uh, see, if, see uh, not if we could make it happen, but to figure out how to make it happen. So we worked together, we managed to do that, and it's grown into the organization that it is today, and it's highly respected. Mary's legacy will always be her passion to help others, whether working for the good of her own organization or working with her nonprofit colleagues or on the many councils and things that she serves on. Everybody reaches out to Mary. She inspires them to do the very best thing and make the best decisions for the good of the citizens of the community. So when Mary announced her plans to retire next June, I know that's hard to believe for many. It was hard for, to believe for us. But her board thanked her by saying, and I quote, we have been the beneficiaries of her vision, her innovation, her leadership, and her passion. And I think that could certainly be said by everyone in this community about Mary. So Mary, it's with great personal pride and with great pleasure. We thank you for all you've done and all your achievements and all the contributions you've made to us. So congratulations from all of us. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, 
I think it, you get to stand up here in my situation when you've, you're at the end after decades, four decades of being within a nonprofit community. And Terry, thank you so much. We had so much fun on our board, how to keep thinking about pushing the envelope on how do we expand certain services and how do we grow capacity and how do we engage, our, our favorite was how to engage um, our board and community and philanthropy. And then Terry always had this idea that we should be metropolitan family services. Do you remember that, Terry? Why aren't we in Maryland and DC? And I'm like, oh my lord. <laughs> Uh, but thank you, LFI, and a special shout out. I understand some of my longtime colleagues are responsible for this, so I think people like Carrie and Shannon, Amanda, Pam, maybe even Patty, Stephen, some folks helped to, to nominate me, and I appreciate that so much. I'll get even someday. <laughs> but you know, I've, I've had, I've been with Northern Virginia Family Service now for 40 years. And this is my, <laughs> thank you. Pat. I'm not afraid to say it anymore. And um, it has been such a privilege and an honor to be with the organization for so many reasons. I was lucky early in my career to find an organization whose mission embodied everything that I felt I stood for and that I could wrap my heart and soul around for my whole career. And I'm so fortunate to work in a community of nonprofit and government partners that shared the same values and goals. I was very fortunate to be in a community with elected officials who tolerated me, <laughs> constantly knocking on their door, right, George? Showing up in Richmond. Um, because it's an important thing. That's the most important thing a nonprofit can do in a community is be that voice for all of the people that do not exercise their voice. And so that was important to me. I am so grateful to have been in a community of business leaders who understood the importance of the engagement in the community, who would stand, you heard like with Chris's, with uh, Homestretch, that the business community has always amazed me. You ask and the business community responds. And I will forever feel blessed to have worked in Northern Virginia where that happens every day. We could not deliver our mission without this robust, caring business community, I guarantee you. And my board, oh my goodness. Um, Joe Fay is here, we honored Rosemary, uh, Brian Jackson, um, people that shared a vision, who did their fiduciary responsibilities, protected the mission, but also were willing to take risks in how you keep pushing the envelope on behalf of the community. I will forever be indebted. Otherwise, I wouldn't have stayed 40 years. <laughs> um, and my awesome colleagues, at Northern Virginia Family Service. Oh my word, I, I don't even know where to begin. This uh, group of individuals, about 350 employees, are the most amazing group of people to work with. And I wish I could take credit for everything that happens, but it's absolutely not the case. And that's what's kept me there 40 years, is together we have created an innovative environment that keeps asking the questions, how do you do it better and better? How do you reach more people? How do we touch lives and make an impact? So I am, my colleagues over here and scattered throughout um, from NVFS, thank you for putting up with me, but thank you for your vision and your leadership at Northern Virginia Family Service. The last thing I'll say is, you know, I keep getting asked that question since I announced I'd be leaving at the end of June about how could you stay in one place so long? And it's, you probably have noticed that we talked about pushing the envelope, innovation. So I found that about every three to four years, we had a completely different organization, which meant that I had to completely get a whole new skill set in order to help be a part of the leadership of the organization. I didn't, I didn't have to leave an organization 
to find new challenges and new interests, we were able to create it within. And that has been an absolute blessing. So thank you so much for this uh, recognition, LFI. I did notice, Phil, my husband, that everybody thanks their family. <laughs> so my husband, many people don't, you know, some, many of my colleagues, MVFS, know Phil. Um, but he loves to come out to these groups because he's a salesman. <laughs> And we learned early on in our marriage that I'm an introvert, he's an extrovert. You walk into a room of 200 people you don't know and I'm terrified. And he thinks he's died and gone to heaven because he's got all these people. And so we've worked well as, as a team over the 45 years we've been married. So thank you very much.